Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel Nisha Baby. I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for joining me again. This is my third video that I'm putting out y'all and I wanted to get this out to y'all because I've made in so many compliments on my makeup and how do you apply your makeup you know just for everyday looks or going out with your man. So I'm going to apply a look for going out with my man you know little date or whatever so please stay tuned but before I get into that for everyone that would love to just go ahead and come on and just be a part of this family I'm gonna need for y'all to hit that subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you are in the no hunty when I come out with new content and you're not left behind because you don't want to be in the review nah you don't want that you want to be forward you want to be in the know you want to be in in the future in the present the now you know not the past so Stick with your girl and we gonna jump right into it. All right, first things first, I like to apply the pore professional. It's pretty much minimizes your pores and make your skin looks very translucent, flawless, just everything, honey. It's like your body is a canvas and we finna get ready to paint, but before we do that, we gotta make sure it's nice and smooth. So this is by Benefit. And let's apply this so for me you know I apply it on my the areas where I know I um, where I get a lot of oil and that's pretty much everywhere you see me apply it now so we're gonna try to control that oil I know it's our melanin you know that's how I look so young but you're gonna control it for the makeup purposes So because I added a little a little extra at the top, I'm just gonna go back and apply it here. Oh, and that's where I need it. Okay. Like so. And next I like to use my hourglass veil that my beautiful sister-in-law gave me okay she hooked me up and I promise you as soon as the sample is done I'm, I'm going to get some so it comes like this and the applicator looks like this so I just apply it there a little bit more like so now rub it in love this primer this primer is everything to me okay so I'll definitely be getting some more veil and what I like to do next is my eyebrows now I know that they're already arched however I just like to go back and clean them up a little bit so I just get my brush brush them up of course and I go back Get them in line. Get in line, honey. Get in line. So. Get in line. Like so. And do the same to the other side. There's always one side. It's a little bit troublesome. But it's all right. Love your skin and your body and embrace it. So that's that. So now I'm gonna apply my foundation, which is G Base Place. See, and I have the color Puta Cane 435, and it looks like this. And I also have my G Base foundation brush. And I've already applied a little bit of foundation that I'll be using today. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. Just a little. Also like to get my neck. Never forget your neck, ladies. I 
You never want to forget the neck. Ever. You get that too, because you need everything to look the same and blend. Okay? And speaking of blend, I'm gonna get my beauty blender and just blend the rest in. I like to go in between, like back and forth from a brush to a beauty blender. That's just me. I'm no beauty guru, but I just do what works for me. So continue to do what works for you. And if you haven't found what works for you, you can try this way. But if, you know, I won't feel no type of way if you don't do everything I do. Because everybody's different. And everybody's skin reacts different to different products. So. Whether it be a brush, beauty blender, makeup, whatever. So I know it's looking crazy right now, but this makeup oxidizes into your skin and that's what I love the most about it. So I'm worried it'll get there. Okay. And while that's settling in, I like to go back with my concealer, which of course is from Jubei's Place. And I just love the uh, art. It's beautiful. So this concealer color that I'm using is Magic Concealer number 12. And it looks like this. And I just go in and apply like so. And I like to hit you see and I go back and blend and blend so get your beauty blender and get to blender And you see the makeup is um, blending pretty well with everything. All right, so what I'm gonna use next is my Black Radiance Contour Palette. And I got this off Amazon, y'all. Amazon is my best friend. Y'all gonna learn this. Y'all gonna learn today, okay? So. That's what I like the most about this palette, and this is my first palette I'm actually using. I don't know if they all do this, but it explains exactly um, how you apply it. And I love that about that, y'all. Like, that's dope. Because teach me, okay? Because like I say, I'm not no, no goober or anything, but I get the job done. And if y'all want to give me some tips and let me know what y'all use, put it in the comments section below. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is contour. Because I want to, you know, just give a more sculpt contour look. So I like to put it on my brush like this. And I'll show you why. And I know it's looking crazy right now. It's looking crazy, but we're about to fix that. So next, I'll go in with the sculpt. Turn it on. Now before I do that, I always like to rub this right here to get it off of any excess I may have, so I'm not putting it back where I don't want it. Okay? You can always go back and rub it off with your makeup remover. So I'm getting that, and I'm just patting on. 
and just lightly dust and do the same for the other side lightly dust Blend it in until it's how I want it to be. And I keep applying the sculpt color. Dusty axis. And then I like to get some highlighter because I mean who don't like to be shiny okay <laughs> shiny so I get even my highlighter and put that on right here and I just go up like that see that mmm are you shiny? We saw Moana the other day, so I'm just like, it's stuck in my head. <laughs> okay, so of course I'm not done because it really is this side. We're gonna get that together. Don't you worry. Okay. So, I like to go back with my beauty blender. Just add a little bit of foundation. Just a tad. And that might be too much, we'll find out. So you see how you still have the sculpt, the contour in there? It's not completely gone and it's not looking crazy like before. So we're going to fix that. And like I said, I'm no beauty guru, okay? However, I do get the job done and I'm always open to learn because we can learn from each other. Like, you may have a whole, like, a stick that I could use because I see people, they use um, contour sticks versus, you know, the palettes, the powders. And that may work better for me. Now, I always like to go back once this part is done with my Juve's highlighter brush. And I like to add just a little bit more highlighter because I like to be shiny. Okay, y'all gonna see me coming. And I like this brush too. They just know what they're doing. They do an amazing job. I love the Juve's Place products. See? Mm. All right. Now we're gonna go in and do these eyes. I have the Masquerade Mini by Juve's Place. I just love their artwork. It's so beautiful. That design is 
it's amazing and me being a pisces you know i'm into art and i appreciate that so i'm gonna go in with my brush and i choose as my base hmm. this one it's called fulani 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 ooh, ooh, fulani I'm gonna go back with, hmm, which one do I want? This one. I'm gonna do the same to the other eye. So, Fulani. And then go back with my Casablanca. And I just decided to go with the Molly, this color, for my under eye. I just had to go back and dust the excess off. Like so. And now we're gonna apply some lashes. So I got these magnetic lashes from Instagram. It's called Irish Shine, I believe. Let's see. And I'll be sure to put the link in the description for you all. So. Have five different lashes to choose from, and I believe I'm gonna go with the first ones. So now I'm gonna apply my magnetic eyeliner. So we have the lash on. Got a little residue under, so you just go back and apply. Like so to fix it. Okay, now we're gonna do the other lash. So now that the lashes are on, we're gonna get into our lips. So I got this off of Amazon, and I really like it. It has all the different types of nudes. Okay, love it. And this is a contour series. Nude lip that I think I got when they were doing like a um, Amazon Prime sale day. And I got it. And I'm glad I got it. So, this is what the inside looks like. And it comes with this little sticker. Again, which I love to help you when, you know, you don't really know what to do or Maybe you just need a little extra guidance. There's nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna use my lip liner pencil. I'm actually gonna go with, let's go with this color. It's like a dark mauve. I'm just gonna do a nude lip. And it comes with the lip applicator. You just put the color on this. I like that. So, hmm. I'm gonna go with this one. And with 
with these, I always like to go back and put like a gloss on top. So I'm gonna use this one today because I don't feel like going downstairs to get my MAC one. And this smells good. Believe it or not, I think I got this from Dollar General. Yes, LA color. And what color this is? Hmm. Heavenly. Heavenly. I like that. <laughs> holographic too. I love holographic lipstick or lip gloss. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So now it's time to apply my L'Oreal setting spray and I'm almost out so please give me some recommendations in the comments below on what you all use I just like to do a X I go back and I just fan okay y'all this is the final look please tell me what you think in the comment section below and before i go you know i always give a shout out to who i'm wearing you know i'm rocking banner free they sell custom made jewelry for all types of designs you like whether it's your earrings your necklace all the way down to your ankle bracelet as well as your rings and i have two more let me just put them on um i'm gonna put them on side by side because i have my wedding ring on my other two looks like this and they're they're pretty good like look at this now what jewelry company that's a black owned that y'all know be popping like this you don't and if you do put it in the description so i can go ahead and hit them up and support them because i love supporting my black owned businesses but yes um this is the look i decided to do a bun today yes i still have my long um twist and if you would like to learn how to do this style it's in my previous video and i can leave that link in the description as well so like i always give this opportunity before y'all leave me but I want to say thank you for sticking with me through this entire video. And if you would love to be a part of this family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to click that bell. That way you are in the know, honey. When I come out with new content, that way you know, okay? I'm just saying. That way everybody is not left behind and you're with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. And again, thank you for stopping by. Please be sure to like, Okay, comment, subscribe, and again, hit that bell button so y'all can see my videos. I see y'all until next time.